YouTube Familia, what is going on? I am of course Kyle Lowe's back at it with another video, more new content for you guys. All right guys, new video today, something I haven't done yet. Obviously my channel's new, so not surprised at that. Today we're gonna be looking at my top choices for NBA players with the best sneaker collections, whether it's on the court or off the court, just people who I think have like the best sneaker game, pretty much, simple. And also this is gonna become like a thing, at least probably I'd say once a month. I'm going to be doing this same type of video where I look at people who have the best sneaker collections in their respected sport or area of profession. So I have chosen six people. Six. Shout out six God, Jersey Drake. Those six people are Chris Paul, obviously Jordan Brand contract, Jordan Brand athlete. Jimmy Butler, Jordan Brand athlete. John Wall, who I believe is signed to Nike now. He was with Adidas, but I believe he is with Nike. LeBron James, obviously Nike contract, the largest shoe contract of all time. P.J. Tucker, just kind of a freebie. I'm pretty sure he's not signed to any contract. No shoe company, he's just kind of out there doing his own thing. And Swaggy P, who was uh, like P.J. Tucker originally, just doing his own thing, didn't have a contract, but is now with Team Adidas. So first off, Chris Paul. There's no introduction needed for Chris Paul. He is one of the top point guards in the league. So first off, so you guys can see right here, obviously we have these Jordan 4s. Not a release. I've never seen another person with it. Chris Paul exclusive. I, I don't know where he wore him. He didn't wear him in a game, obviously. I don't know if he wore him to a game. So birthday party, just hanging out, not exactly sure. These things are absolutely crazy. As you guys can see, it's just an all purple upper. I don't know if, what material it is with a four. I'm guessing it's either a leather or like a new buck. Black laces, black tongue with a um, black patch with the Jumpman logo in purple. Looks kind of like a, maybe a different color purple than the rest of the shoe. Not really sure because of the flash, it's hard to tell. Obviously black meshing, black midsole, and I think that's a purple bottom. So that's really, really cool. These things are pretty crazy. Chris Paul is known for his crazy different Jordan samples, his player exclusives. Gotta try to go through these fast because I don't want to make it like a super long video. Black tongue, white Jordan logo on the tongue, all volt upper with a uh, taste of that sky blue, baby blue. I don't even know what you would call that. Black meshing, black midsole. Those are crazy. Right here, he wore these in a bowling tournament. It was like a celebrity bowling game, I believe. And these things are crazy. I believe it's a 3M upper. It just kind of looks like in the pictures. You can't see the stitching in like any of the pictures. I believe it's a 3M upper. Obviously the flash must have got it. But it's got that same color blue again and that clipper blue. Oh, that's what it might be on the other pair. The clipper blue with the Volt pair. But then with this pair, it's that clipper blue with those red accents. Definitely a cripper, and clip, cripper. wow. Definitely a clipper inspired shoe. Next up, warming up in this game, another Clipper inspired shoe. He has another pair of Jordan 4s on. I'm guessing that must be like his favorite model. But he's wearing all red on the upper, all red laces with the touches of that same blue colorway, that Clipper blue. He's got it on the meshing, a little bit on the behind the tongue, and the sole. Those are crazy. I would like those in my collection. Those are nice. Next up, in game, as you guys can see, he did wear this in the 2016 2017 season preseason. All white Jordan 11 with a royal blue, Clipper blue, whatever you want to call it on the patent leather. Never seen a Jordan 11 release like this. These are crazy dope. I'm obviously a huge fan of the color blue. It's my favorite color. So seeing a release like this would be absolutely crazy. I would definitely have to pick this thing up. And it, it looks like it's kind of hard to tell, but there may be some red on the, the little logo on the tongue. And then just to get away from kind of like his Retros, he also has those, some of those crazy Nike IDs that he does. He obviously has his own shoe, his own Jordan basketball shoe. I've never really been a huge fan of him, but he does do some pretty decent colorways. Like this was a Nike ID, I guess. Those are nice in the Clipper colorway. And then these things, I remember Instagram blew up when these came out. His Emerald 11s, one of one. Those things are absolutely crazy. I don't, those things are nuts. LOS 3, not much to say about this. Obviously I've had the LOS 1s in my video before and I've talked a little bit about the 2s and the 3s. Legends of Summer, it was a tour with like Justin Timberlake, uh, Jay-Z and a bunch of other people. And Jordan Brand gave these shoes to them as like an inspiration for their tour. Just all red, crazy, crazy limited, crazy amount of money. And then the last two pictures, Georgetown 4s. If you guys don't know what the Georgetown 4s are, I'm just gonna assume you guys know what they are. They were given to the Georgetown basketball team, I think, a couple years ago. Crazy, crazy expensive. And then lastly, a CP3 player exclusive. Never seen anything like this before. A Jordan 13, red tongue, or black tongue, red laces, little gold jump man. And then I think that's like a gray around where the, uh, the panther eye is. And then around towards the midsole, white midsole. Those are dope. So that is Chris Paul. 
First off, for John Wall, he used to be with Team Adidas. Now he signed to Team, Team Nike, so he's been wearing obviously nothing but Nikes lately. In the 2017 All-Star Game, he wore, right as you guys can see, the Trophy Room 16s. They were released exclusively at the Trophy Room. And if you guys don't know what the Trophy Room is, it is Marcus Jordan, aka Michael Jordan's son's sneaker shop that he owns down in Orlando, Florida. Those are really dope. Obviously, big fan of the color blue, so I like those a lot. As you guys can see, he's got the Bape shorts on, the Young Money jacket, and the black OVO 12s. As you guys can see, he's wearing the off-white jacket. And then he, on feet, most important part, he's wearing the Solar Yeezy 2s, my least favorite of the Yeezy 2 collection. I just think the plaits are a lot better. That's my personal opinion. This one is kind of hard to see, but he's wearing Gucci, Gucci, uh, Gucci athletic shoes. I think that, that was pretty cool. You know, so something a little different, more designer brand. Gucci, shout out Gucci. Some of their stuff's pretty cool. It looks like the, it's got like a Stan Smith feel. It's like the low white top, all like leather. And then it's got like their Gucci, like the logo, like the stripes, the colors. Sometimes it's like Gucci snakes on it. So those things are pretty cool. Right here, he has the bin fives on, flexing in front of the Rolls Royce. Right here, he's wearing the bin 13s. Those things are crazy. In this one, he was shopping at Riff. Shout out to Riff LA. And it's kind of hard to see, but behind the back, you can see the Just Don Jordan 2 in the beach colorway. All right, next up, LeBron James. Obviously, in this picture, when he was still at the Heat, wearing the What the MVP 10s. These things go for like, like what are they going for? Like two, three grand these days. Those things are absolutely crazy. This one, he's wearing a, oh my God, the LeBron 14, I think. Um, and a Cleveland Cavalier player exclusive sample, or player exclusive colorway, my bad. Right here, he's got the, oh, what are they called? Not like the Area 51 or whatever. What are these called? The Area 72, I was super close. They look a little different from the picture I've seen. It's like the Chrome PE. These things go for like upwards to like eight to 10K, ridiculous amount of money. Those things are dope though. I really like those a lot. I had to look it up. Couldn't remember the name of them. All right here, you have another LeBron. Don't know exactly what it is. I don't follow LeBrons, please don't flame me. Um, I'm not, well I don't follow older LeBrons, I'd say. I think this is a LeBron 4. And it looks like it reminds me of the Stewie colorway. I think it's all like, maybe it's called like the Superman or something, but it reminds me a lot with that Stewie kind of colorway of the Stewie LeBron 6, the best LeBron sample ever. Like that is a dream shoe for me, but those things are impossible to find. In this picture, he's wearing the Hardwood Classics and that all royal blue with like the orange tint kind of paying homage to New York City. Those things are fucking sick. Only thing I have to say about those. Fairfax LeBron 11. I'm a huge fan of the LeBron 11, especially like their play, well, mainly their player exclusives in the samples. I think the LeBron 11 is one of the best models when it comes to the colorways for the samples and the player exclusives. Right here, Florida Gators, another great example. Florida Gator LeBron 11, one of the dopest LeBrons I've ever seen in my life, in my personal opinion. Right here, he's wearing the Oregon Jordan 5s, back when the Oregon hype was mad high. It's still pretty high now, but this was back when these like first came out when he posted that picture. And then just going all the way back to high school when he played for SVSM, we're in the SVSM LeBron 9. It's definitely the hardest Jordan sample to ever track down. I believe there's probably only one version, and that's his personal size. I don't know what size he wears, maybe like a 13 or a 14. But like that is his personal shoe. I don't think it's ever been for sale. I've never seen it for sale, at least like a real pair. I've seen a lot of fake pairs for sale. I don't know if there's like any besides maybe one or two of them in existence. Okay, so that's LeBron James. Next up, PJ Tucker. PJ Tucker, in my opinion, for not being signed, has one of the craziest collections I've ever seen for an NBA player, for not being signed to a single like, contract. In this picture, he is wearing the Laser Jordan 5s. Kind of hard to tell, but you can tell by the midsole, it's the Laser Jordan 5s. Right here, he's wearing the Shattered Backboard Jordan 1s. Crazy Jordan 1. Right here, he fucked the game up when he did this. I know a lot of people have balled in like Yeezy 2s and stuff, but when he wore like Red Octobers, man, that shit, crazy, crazy dope in my opinion. That's unreal. Mad props to him to break those out. Those are $4,000 shoes right there. Uh, right here, Just On Jordan 2 Beach. I think he also wore the blue pair in a game, I believe recently. Right here, Ben Sevens. Oregon State uh, Jordan 9 samples. These are a Quinton Richardson Jordan 14 sample in the, what looks like the Phoenix Sun colorway. It, this one's crazy. I think he got these from PDX Portland. I believe that's what they're called, or Index Portland. Sorry, not PDX. Uh, PDX is like the thing. Index Portland, the sneaker store. It's a um, blackout seamless Jordan 14 sample. He wore those in game. That's nuts. He's just like a little baggy pack. You know, you got the flu games. You got a couple pairs of uh, Tim's. You got the Yeezy One Tans. I love the Yeezy One Tans. OVO Tans, and of course, Fragment Ones. He, here he is wearing some Jordan 5 Lows. Who is this? Um, number five. 
Uh, Derek Anderson. Derek Anderson, I believe, Jordan 5. That's crazy. Those are dope. And the Sean Marion Jordan 5 sample, one of the craziest Jordan 5s I've ever seen. We are almost done. Next up, we got Swaggy P, aka Nick Young. Played for the late plays played for the Clippers for a while, currently plays for the Lakers. He's balling some crazy stuff. Right now we signed the team Adidas. So in this picture, he's wearing the chocolate Yeezy 750s in-game. I don't think those are comfortable at all for a sneak for like a basketball game. I could never imagine wearing those in a basketball game. In this picture, he is wearing the All-Star Galaxy Foam Posits. Those things are dope. This picture, he is wearing the Beluga V2s. Those things are dope. Those pants are terrible. This picture, that's a good fit. All white, wearing the Y3s. Shout out Y3. This is another dope fit. I have that same shirt, St. Pablo Tour shirt with just some skinny jeans, Louis Vuitton case, and Fear of God Vans. Those things are crazy. Right here, he's wearing, wow, it's really hard to tell, but I believe those are the OG 750s by the, by the pattern on the laces. And then this one is him wearing the Red October Yeezy 2s. And then this one, he balled for the going, like the um, Earth Day, he balled in the Dornbacker 2. Last, but not least, my guy, Jimmy Butler, AKA Jimmy Buckets, the man. My favorite player in the NBA. I'm a diehard Chicago Bulls fan. He balls mainly in Jordan 29s, Jordan 30s, and Jordan 31 samples. In this picture though, obviously he went to the University of Marquette, so what better way to wear the, what better time to wear the Marquette 29s sample that was given to the Marquette men's basketball team two years ago, I believe. And then right here, you got the Jordan 4s. If you guys don't know, he signed to a Jordan brand contract, by the way. He got game 13s. Derek Anderson, 12 lows. The, I think these are the motors, Motorsport 9s? No, Kawhi 54 9s. I don't know why I said Motorsport. Kawhi 54 9s. In this picture, he's wearing the Pantone 10s, and he's with Mark Wahlberg. They're good friends. Mark Wahlberg is wearing the Carhartt m and 4s. Definitely a crazy picture. Right here was his shoe that released, his Jordan 29 low PE that he had that released had his logo on the left shoe. Right here, he's wearing the Pantone 13s. He seems to be a big fan of the Pantone collection. Um, we got the Marquette Fours. Obviously, like I said, he went to Marquette, so he's wearing the Marquette Fours. This was during All-Star Weekend a couple years ago. He says, gotta have a little wine in Oregon 5 at All-Star Weekend. He's, wearing, he's got the Oregon 5s in his lap. Right here, another Pantone, the Pantone 12s. One of the best Pantones ever, in my opinion. If you guys don't know, this summer, the Pantone 7s are officially getting released, and they look freaking dope. I am definitely gonna be picking those up, so you guys, we will be having a pickup vlog for that. And that will do it for Jimmy Butler. So this is tough for me. Cause you know, all those guys got some crazy stuff. Right off the bat, I could probably knock off Swaggy P and John Wall. But then you got PJ Tucker, not, doesn't ha he does not have a sneaker contract, but he's always wearing some crazy, crazy stuff. So huge props to him for that. LeBron James, obviously the biggest sneaker deal ever. He gets everything for free. So he obviously has a really crazy collection. He only usually just wears player exclusives on court of his different LeBron, whether they're the soldiers or like his actual models, like 13s, 12s, 14s, whatever. And then Chris Paul, Jordan brand contract, but he has some of the dopest Jordan 4s I've ever seen. So I would have to say, just based on what I, we looked at between these six guys, probably Chris Paul. He's got some of the crazy stuff. I know there's like an old video of his sneaker collection from a couple years ago up. I think it was taken with like a potato though because it's super, super like pixely, like pixelated. If you guys do not agree with me, leave a comment below. Tell me what NBA player in your personal opinion has the best sneaker collection on court and off the court. I'd really like to hear you guys' personal thoughts. If there's somebody who I didn't include on this list, please also leave a comment for that. And then just comment whatever, guys. I like reading your guys' comments. I respond to almost every single comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button, smash that subscribe button. I'd really, really appreciate it. More videos of these coming soon. I am closing off. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Peace.